Hello, this is Tamara with Tamara's Coloring Coven. And before I go any further, I want to let you guys know if you're 18 and under, I please, I kind of ask you to please leave as this is an adult coloring and crafts channel. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to show a new tattoo coloring book that came in the mail today from my fairy godmother for, as she said, as a late birthday gift. And I want you to thank her. Thank you, Fairy Godmother. This book is, um, by, actually, I didn't say it on the cover, or on the back cover, but it's actually by Tattoo Coloring Press. And I put it in here that way when I color a page, I can tell who an artist is or the publisher. And I will drop a link for this book under the description. I do want to let you guys know that in the link, I looked up on Amazon, and this is really weird. It says that there's 30 coloring pages in this book. Well, this back says over 60 coloring design patterns to color. So, but this is a tattoo coloring book, a coloring book for adults, rela adult relaxation with modern tattoo designs, themes such as sugar skulls, hearts, roses, and much more. And on the back, this coloring book has a beautiful collection of patterns that would provide hours of stress relief through creative expressions, design range, designs range of complexity and detail from beginning to expert level. And let me get started here. Now we've got the copyright page. And this paper in this feels really nice. This is nicer than what I think than the CreateSpace paper. Either that or they've gotten... The Create Space paper has changed and they've gotten better with their paper. I have to excuse it. I've got somewhat of a mess on my page. Here. Now this one I was thinking of for July 4th, even though I'm not big on guns, but I have colored them before. A phoenix. And for those of you who have never had a tattoo or don't know what they look like, this is what they call a tattoo gun. Another one. I did a while ago in another book a page with a gun in it. And at the time, I had the most prettiest baby powder blue metallic pen. And it turned out so good. And I have never been able to found that, find, excuse me, find that same pen again. The snake. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, I despise snakes, good or bad. I just don't like them. Um, but I don't mind coloring them because they give me a chance to practice on how to color scales. And here's another good one for 4th of July. And I know that there are some color streaks in here of the black, but that's not going to bother me none because I can go over it with a black Sharpie. That's not a problem. There's another snake. This one's kind of cool. And a koi with roses. Oh, this one's sideways too. And I don't know what it is with a lot of these books I've been getting here lately of tattoos. For some reason, they've got a human heart in them. I just don't know why. I'm like... I mean, I guess it's for the men that like to color too, but I'm just not, I'm like, why does he have a human heart in there? And this one, I can't see myself doing because it's so detailed and the lines are so faint. But this is a Chinese fire dragon that comes down and around, and I'm assuming comes down and around here, and somehow, because here, and down here, because here's the tail. Another Chinese fire dragon. Now that one I can kind of see a little better. Now I like this one. Excuse me guys, I gotta get a drink. My mouth is really dry. You have to forgive me, I'm on medications that really dries out my mouth. I really like this one. I really do. I can see this fire dragon in reds and golds. 
Now I normally color my pictures in um, gel pen. I do use markers every once in a while, but for this one I'll probably use gel pens that are sparkled. But I can see this dragon in red and gold and these um, flowers in another type of yellow. And I'm assuming that's kind of clouds behind him or so. I'm not sure. There's another one. <laughs> I've done this picture before in another book, and let me tell you a story about it. I was supposed to do a picture of a tiger or a bear. Well, I honestly thought this was a bear first time I saw it. Once I got almost done with it in dark brown Sharpie, that's when I realized, oh my God, that is a tiger. But it still turned out good, but just made me realize. And this here, this is my most favorite pitch for her picture, should I say, from the book. I really like that picture. And I've done this picture before, too. It says, fight to live. You go, I'm not too big on these type of pictures because all this real tinies and doodle stuff kind of drives me nuts. And I really, really, really like this picture, too. Hmm. Like that one too. Especially this one. This one's really neat. I like that. A unicorn skull. Okay, that's different. This one I like too. I've done this one before too. I can't remember. Another one with two tattoo guns. And I've done this picture before, I'm pretty sure, in another tattoo book. And if I remember correctly, this well, I made this one a red metallic. Now I'm thinking I could do this in a different and this one in a different blue metallic now. And here's actually the front cover of the book and I really like this one especially I like this around her neck I like that a skull with wings a key and and roses and I like this one too I think that is a deer, I think. Don't quote me on it. I'm thinking that is a deer skull. I think. Don't quote me on that. Another Chinese fire dragon. Another Chinese fire dragon. Another eagle. With a type of zen doodle almost it and I really like this page I really do in this page too trying to figure out what that is I guess that they have something that ties down under their neck this one I kind of think is cool because I'm picturing this done with a limited color palette I'm thinking of that one with another limited color palette too. A snake with a hand with a knife through it. Another one I could do with a limited color palette. And bull. A bull with two tattoo guns. Okay, there, I knew there was another page. There's another one. I like that one. I think that's a ram. Yeah, it's a ram because the horns are coming back this way and curling around. Yeah, that's a ram.
and that looks like it's it, folks. Made in the USA, Copal, Texas, January 11th, 2011. And that's it, folks. If you like my videos, remember to hit the subscribe and the like, thumbs up, and hope to see you around. And also, if you want to see more of my videos, hit that bell for all notifications. Thank you, and have a good day.